Hi, I'm Mark Green with the Oklahoman in Washington. Paul Weyrich's passing this week was pretty big news here in the nation's capital. He wasn't a member of Congress or anything, but was well known to the movers and shakers inside the Beltway. A former news reporter and Capitol Hill staffer, Weyrich was one of the founders of the Moral Majority, which was the first significant crystallizing of social conservatives into a political movement. Later, he helped start the Heritage Foundation as a conservative counterweight to Washington's liberal think tanks. In recent years, Weyrich had shows on talk radio and a cable network he helped start. His op-ed columns appeared on the internet and in a number of newspapers. Paul Weyrich's real presence in Washington the past 15 or so years was as host of a weekly luncheon attended by people from conservative grassroots organizations. They included Second Amendment groups, business groups, proponents of English, right to life groups, tax policy organizations, and many more. Members of Congress and their staffs also attended, and representatives of the House and Senate Republican leaderships came to brief the gathering on the state of play on Capitol Hill. The past several years, Oklahoma's Jim Inhofe served as the liaison between the Senate GOP Steering Committee and Weyrich's lunch group. It's quite a meeting. I've been a regular, non-participating attendee for several years. Weyrich used to make things pretty hot for speakers with sharp questions about their issues and causes, always looking for action items the groups in the room could sink their teeth into. He had mellowed a little bit in recent years. Still, there were a couple of hard and fast rules. One, the meeting and its conversations were off the record to promote candor. And two, for speakers, be prepared. Lord help you if you weren't. One time the leader of a grassroots group let a political guest come and go without asking him tough questions about the group's primary issue. Wyrick really lit into the guy, and now, almost humorously, that same fellow is a master at bringing up his issue, no matter who's speaking or what's being discussed. Weyrich wouldn't put up with any bull, which is quite an achievement here because there's plenty of it. It didn't matter if you were Joe Jones with some little action organization or the majority leader of the United States Senate. If you didn't get to the point, Mr. Weyrich would get there for you. Indeed, guests big and small came to Paul Weyrich's luncheon girded for battle, which he freely and eagerly gave. Certainly he will be missed. Weyrich was a tough political competitor with a keen sense of grassroots strategies. With conservatives in the political wilderness right now, Weyrich's last op-ed column suggested ways they could get out of the woods. They'll have to do it themselves. At least they have Paul Weyrich's instructions to guide them.